Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Sugar. So today I have a pick a card reading that looks into a channel message from your future self at this time. So what messages they want to share with you and also maybe they'll give you a little insight about how things are where they are. Okay, so allow yourself to kind of relax, to distress your mind and your body and take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. And allow the guidance of your future self to guide you to the door or doors that best represent the messages that your future self has for you at this time. Our first door is the blue door. Our second door is the black door. Our third door is the green door. And our fourth door is the purple door. Once you have selected your door or doors, feel free to click the timestamp below to watch your portion of the video. I'm excited to share these messages with you all, and I hope you all enjoy them. Best wishes, and thank you all for the support and love. Alrighty, so this will be for those that selected the blue door. So let's see what messages your future stuff has for you with the cards, and then I'll channel a message, and at the very end, I'll get additional cards from the Personal Power Oracle deck. All right, so we have finding balance, growth and transformation, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. So I feel like your future self wants you to know with these cards that there's this energy of you needing to seek a little bit more balance and groundedness in your life at this time. I'm also getting that as you do that, you're going to be able to manifest more abundance and gifts and offerings because then you're able to appreciate them for what they are and you have the space and the, the room for them, right? I'm also seeing with this five of swords that there might be a little tension in your life and it's really important to address that tension, any anger, any frustrations that you're, you're feeling at this time, especially if it's connected to like a parent or any inner child wounds that may have been suppressed for a long time. So it's definitely important to acknowledge them, acknowledge your inner child so you can heal properly and move forward in a way where you're not bitter or upset is what I'm getting with the cards. So now I'm going to start channeling your message from your future self to see what we get. Your life is changing. You are evolving. There is so much more to you. There is so much more for you to create at this time that you must welcome it in. You must be centered. You must be balanced. I'm telling you, it is time for you to start planting those seeds so you can enjoy what they become. I'm living my best life here. I'm so abundant and flourishing in wealth. I have very little worries because I know I am taken care of by my soul tribe and the divine. I have no worries when it comes to money because the work that I needed to be done was completed. The work that I needed to do was completed because you are taking the time to go through the changes, the growth and the transformation and to find this balance. I am at peace where I am. There's no drama. I am balanced. I am whole. I am capable of going after what I need and what I want. I have realized that I am the author of my life. I can always change the story at any given moment. I want to remind you to never lose sight of your goal. Be more than what your parents were. Be greater than what you think you are because you are just that, the greatest. Take a moment to hear your inner child's voice. Speak with them. 
hear them out. See what they need at this time because that is what you need at this time. And as you do that work, you'll be able to achieve and meet me where I am and know that everything that you did now and before was for a great reason and a great purpose. I also want you to stop sleeping on yourself. Get up and let the world know how great you are and let the world know who you are. You have so much to offer, yet you have given so little because you are afraid that you might be criticized. The only criticism you should worry about is from me. I need you to do what needs to be done. Don't be afraid to plant those seeds. You'll never know how big that tree may grow. I love you and I'm proud of you. Keep going. Get up and do what needs to be done. Okay, so that was your channel message from your future self. Very strong, fiery energy. And that I'm feeling like they are determined to get you to get up and do what you need to do. I love it. All right, let's get some additional cards to see what else needs to be said at this time. All right, so we have, I speak highly of myself. And on, on this person's body, we have safe, lovable, unique, beautiful, free, smart, and worthy. So I'm going to repeat those as affirmations. And this is something you should repeat to yourself daily for the next seven days. I am safe. I am lovable. I am loved. I am love. I am smart. I am unique. I am beautiful. I am free. And I am worthy. Repeat these affirmations for the next four to seven days. I'll say four to seven days. It definitely seems like your future self wants you to know that you are all of those things. So don't let anyone make you question that. Okay? So I hope this reading was helpful for those that selected this pile. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to this video. I appreciate the love and the support. And I wish you all the best. Blessings and love. Alrighty, this will be for those that select the black door. So we're going to get into your cards first. And then I'm going to channel your message from the cards and from your future self. And at the very end, I'll get additional messages from the personal power oracle deck as well. Alright, so let's see what cards we have. So we have discovery, period. Yes. Oh, we have the four of wands and then the star. Let's do that. All right. So just from the cards alone, I'm feeling like your future self wants to let you know that the answer is yes. There might be a question that you've been wondering and thinking about for a little bit and they want you to know the answer is yes. This is your confirmation. A lot of the things that you have been wishing for, manifesting, hoping for are coming your way, but it is time for you to sit in this this space of where you are 100% certain that it is yours. So no longer like hoping and you know wishing, know that those wishes are being granted now. So now you have to sit in the energy of it already being here and it is yours. I'm also getting that there's something here for love for you as well. Um, Maybe your proposal might be coming for some of you that have been dating someone for a while and just wanted to know where things are going. But I'm definitely getting that there's like a lot of um, confirmation in this pile for those that select the, the black door. So congratulations to you. And here's the, the crazy thing about it is that oftentimes people might not select the black door because they think it's going to be like a darker energy and it won't be as positive or uplifting. But it, if you selected this door, even though you usually, you know, pick like a brighter door, a bright colored door, but you went to the black door this time, 
kudos to you because you definitely are listening to your spirit guides and your ancestors and the divine and God and allowing them to guide you to the messages that they have for you. And you're not like, you know, letting fear take over. So now I'm going to start channeling your message from your future self. And then we'll get some cards at the end. Okay, let's see what we have. It's time to check in with yourself more. When's the last time you had some me time? No phone, no noise, just you. Discovering all the parts of you. How are you feeling? How are you really doing? Be honest with yourself. Write a letter to yourself. Write a letter to me. Seeking the guidance that you need at this time. Reflect on what you are feeling and what you desire to feel years from now. Little do you know, you already have it. It's already on the way, but you can't second guess it. I can tell you now that marriage is coming. A family is coming. But make sure you are living the life you love before it arrives. Your life doesn't start when you get those things. It starts now, right now. These difficult times are requiring you to learn through this and level up, to rediscover parts of yourself that may have been lost. Dream big and manifest it. No dream is ever too small. Everything is coming your way. Just be patient. Protect yourself and your body because you are sacred. Honor yourself because you are sacred. Don't just share your energy, your body, yourself with anyone. I just want you to know that we are happy here in the future. I'm talking about you right now are happy in the future with your person and with your family. And for honesty, it's lit. <laughs> Everything you ever wanted is here with me. It is just a matter of time till you get here. Keep going and don't give up. Kisses and smooches of love to you. All right, so that was a channel message from your future self. So now let's get some additional cards to see what other messages we have. Oh, this is beautiful. I am a dreamer. And I believe you channeled something about like dreams, like continue to dream. Don't think any dream is too big or too small. And the number for that card is 444. I'm actually going to read that card for you. Let's see what it says. All right. So the I am the dreamer card is connected to Pisces. If you can dream it, you can do it. If all your dreams come true, what would they be? Dreaming is a powerful way to connect to your higher planes where all your higher knowledge lives. You can remember childhood memories or a dream of a brilliant idea. There are many magical things that can occur while you asleep, like astral travel, lucid dreaming, or having prophetic dreams. Keep a dream journal by your bed and write down whatever you remember as soon as you wake up. Over time, you'll be able to tell which of your dreams are meaningful and which are your mind distressing. If you need guidance, you can ask for it with your guides in your dreams. You just ask your question before bed and set your intention on receiving your answer in your dreams. Don't forget to write everything down as soon as you wake up. You can even have visitors who pass on. If you don't remember your dreams, there are things you can do to help. And so I feel like this represents this energy of you setting your intentions to get your dreams and make them a reality. Not feeling like, oh, this is only something I can achieve in a dream state. Your dreams are your your reality in a sense right and so if you dream it of yourself by like being successful being you know loved and healthy and having a beautiful gorgeous family 
then that can be your reality. But you have to believe it and know that it is something that you can accomplish in this lifetime, okay? So I hope this was helpful for those that selected this pile. As I mentioned before, thank you so much for using your intuition and trusting your gut and your guides to lead you to this pile because it's definitely a beautiful pile and energy and I wish you all the best. Alrighty, this will be for those that selected the green door. So I'm gonna start off with the cards, see what messages your future self has for you with the cards. I'm gonna channel a message from your future self. And at the very end, I'm gonna get another card or two cards from the personal power oracle deck to see what else needs to be shared with you at this time so for your cards you have vibrational alignment all about you queen of pentacles and the five of cups all right so in terms of the cards i'm getting this energy that it is okay to release something that does not uplift you that does not push you to continue to move forward on your journey in a healthy way um sometimes it is a bittersweet moment where you have to let go of someone or something but know that if it's not about you and for you to be a better version of yourself then maybe it's time to let it go i'm also getting that you are getting closer and closer to being at peace getting closer and closer to being at a place where you are you know, grounded and secured in yourself. And that could be the result of you releasing something that you have to let go of, or also just like detoxing like old emotions and feelings that you've been harboring for a while. So these could be some simple things that you can do to help you become more and more in alignment with your purpose and, um, you know, be a vibrational match for a lot of the things that you want to manifest in your life at this time. All right, so now I'm going to start to channel a message from your future self. You are not forgotten, nor will you be forgotten. Why must you think that you are easy to forget? Honey, you are memorable. My condolences to those that lost you because they've lost the gift that is a one of a kind. It is time to mourn the loss of your old self and stand in the power of your new self. You are stronger, you are wiser. You set boundaries and cut anything off that isn't a vibrational match for you. You are a powerful soul of this earth. Don't you ever forget that. Your life is about to change in a year. Within the next 365 days, you're gonna see a huge change for the better. You'll see why all those doors you kept trying to get through never opened for you because there was a bigger door with more blessings. Your soulmate is coming. Someone that matches your loving energy. Someone that is a vibrational match to you. Someone that is going to make sure that you are priority and know that it is about you and not treat you as if you don't matter. It's nice here in the future. I'm holding hands with my beloved life partner. We are whole individually, but we are one collectively. I am abundant because of the work that you have done and will do. And I want to thank you for doing the just that. I want to thank you for letting go of the things and the people that were holding you back. Thank you for choosing courage, even though at times it may have came with tears because of the fear of not knowing what is to come. But I want to let you know that you will overcome that. 
it is amazing where I am and it's all because of you give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it I am so grateful for you keep going and don't give up everything is better and will get better I love you okay so now let us get one extra card that was a beautiful message beautiful message from the future test We have I am a dreamer. So this card actually came out in another pile. And that is number 44 with Pisces. I'm gonna get one more card since that already came out for another pile. So your future self wants you to continue to dream, to continue to believe that all of your desires can be your reality. Next we have, oh my gosh, and this came out for the other other pile okay so it might be actually a good idea for you to watch pile one and pile two because you got the same two cards that came out for both of those piles um and this card says i speak highly of myself i am safe i am lovable i'm unique beautiful smart free and worthy yes i recommend i feel like your future self wants you to check out those other two piles um and might you know it'll be funny if they I want you to watch the, just like the entire video because maybe there's bits and pieces that need to be heard in all of those piles. So I'm going to get one more card. And I know for a fact that these are the only two cards that came out because these were in pile one and pile two. So obviously we're doing pile three and I haven't done pile four yet. So let's see what pile three last message would be. Number 20, I embrace change. I like that. So definitely welcome in the newness, even if you're unsure of what is to come next, because when you embrace change and you welcome it in, then you're able to receive more abundance and more gifts and love and blessings from the universe because they know that you are not going to turn it down or feel like you're unworthy of it. You have to feel worthy of change and of gifts and of this beautiful just life that you deserve, okay? So thank you so much for watching this pile. Um, please check out the other two piles because I feel that your future self definitely wants to share other other messages with you at that time, at this time from those piles, okay? As always, I appreciate the love and the support and I wish you all the best. Alrighty, this will be for those that selected the purple door. So I'm going to start off with seeing what messages we get from the cards first from your future self and then i'm going to actually channel a message from your future self and at the very end i will get another card or two cards from the personal power oracle deck so let's see what cards we have we have practice self-love secrets involved the six of wands and then the strength card all right. I don't know why, but I was like really called to like make your cards like go out that way. So there could be a decision that you're trying to make at this time and you're just trying to figure out which which path is going to lead you to the success, right? And that totally makes sense, but I get that your future self wants you to kind of like trust your inner knowing and trust them and listen to the messages that come to you. Um, at this time and within the next 30 days is what I'm hearing. I'm also seeing that it's a great time for you to practice self-love and maybe journal some things. Um, so if you don't have a journal, look into buying like a small notebook or a journal and just writing down things about yourself that you want to work on, that you want to heal from at this time and also address the things that you don't like talking about when it comes to yourself. So let's say you're insecure about a certain part of your body and you know you're wanting to work on that where does that come from where does that come from okay um i'm also seeing that this summer is going to be a very good summer for you so there's a lot of positive change and movement in your life that's going to happen for the better so get excited about that okay 
So now I'm going to start channeling your message from your future self to see what you get. Okay. I'm giving you the biggest hug at this time. Stop being so hard on yourself. You are much stronger than you think. You are much wiser than you know. I just want you to know that some folks that are in your life now won't be here in the future. You might not see it now, but it will become clear very soon. Some of these people have to go and that is okay. Pay attention to the false reality some people may try to create in your life. Always trust your inner knowing. Always trust that sacred knowledge. But also pay attention to the false realities that you tend to create for yourself. It's okay if you're not happy. It's okay if you're upset. It's okay if you're angry. You don't always have to fake it until you make it. Embrace what you're feeling, address it, so it doesn't eat you up inside. I also wanna to say to you, don't ever let anyone dim your light and don't ever dim your light for anyone. It's okay to set boundaries. It's okay to be protective of your energy and of your time and of your space and of your body and of your mind and of your soul. We are protective of you. So you should be protective of yourself as well. No one or nothing can get to you without going through us. Unless you allow it. I know sometimes life seems confusing and challenging. But you must know that you have to use your inner compass to guide you. Like I said before, you know the answers. You have this inner knowing. You just have to believe in what you know. Where I am now is beautiful. I am thriving. I am living the life that you are working towards. I am living the life that you always prayed for for many years. Nothing can knock you down. You might get a few bumps or bruises but you can still get through it. It just tells your story. At this time where I am, I am married to the love of my life. I am surrounded by love because I've given and shown myself that love. My spouse loves me deeply. They are amazing. We have a happy and loving and healthy family that we always desire. It is yours. Just believe in it. I am successful where I am. I am my own boss. I'm able to help others too. You'll get there. But set those boundaries and take care of yourself and love yourself. Don't feel insecure about anything that someone else said to you. You are beautiful and loved and appreciated where I am. All right, so that was that channel message from your future self. So now we are going to gather some messages from the card. So in the hitting three, three fell out. And look at that. We have I am beautiful, number 29. I'm actually going to read that card for you. We have I am a healer, number 32. And all of her chakras are balanced. She's meditating. She's grounding herself. So that could be something that you can do as well. And then we have I am authentic. I don't think we ever gotten this card before. We got this card before. Number 37. I'll probably read that one as well, too. Okay. Let's actually choose one more card, another card, to go along with it. 
next we have I am happy number 17 so let's read number 29 and as soon as I opened the book it went right to it wanting to be someone else is a waste of time it is very difficult to not compare yourself to the, all the other perfect people over social media and commercials, especially as we age our, and our bodies change. Not being fully accepting of our body can be damaging to our confidence and our health. Thank you. Thank your body for being the perfect body for you, for being the container of your soul, as it is not permanent. We are here for so much more than to look perfect. Rather than comparing ourselves to others, use your body as a measuring stick. What is healthy? What is your healthy body type? It may be surprising that the very thing you dislike or try to change about yourself, someone could be admiring and trying to achieve themselves. So being confident in yourself and loving who you are is important here. And then the other part, which is Leo, it says, remind yourself that you cannot fail at being yourself. Living and being your true authentic self isn't always easy. Many times we subconsciously change our behavior, looks, or even beliefs in order to blend in, stand out, or please others. We let the pressures of society, family, or friends mold us into someone we are not meant to be. This card wants you to see who your authentic self is. And some of the journal props you can look into are what does being authentic mean to you? Is what in what ways are you authentic and have you ever changed anything about yourself against your truest desires so maybe those are some questions that you can answer in your journal so you did get the writing activity for you early on okay so I hope this reading was helpful for those that selected this pile thank you so much for checking out this video I appreciate the love and the support as always and I wish you all the best and you know I'm just sending loving and healing vibes to you all